our 10 questions. Um, so I'll be asking you 10 quick questions and right. uh, you just give me your whatever comes to mind. Yep, okay. So are you ready, my friend? Not sure. Um, <laughs> because I, All right, well, I'm, I'll give it a go. All, all right. right. Well, what is your favourite word? Right. <laughs> That's very Australian, isn't it? <laughs> right. That's great. <laughs> what is your least favourite word? Mm. Similarly, similarly. Is it one of those that you can't? Say I properly? can't say it properly. <laughs> Just, ah! I can't. I can't say that 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 word that means that big seal with the two tusks. <laughs> Walrus. It's the one yeah. I can't say. Uh, uh, if you could use one word to describe a great sounding system, what would that be? Phenomenal. No, great. What do you prefer listening to, digital or analog? <laughs> Be very careful. <laughs> yeah. I prefer my digital on analog. Ah, okay. I wasn't expecting that answer. So, because a lot of our vinyl mm. is actually... It is. It's somewhere through the chain it's gone through digital. I prefer analog on analog, but if I'm going to listen to digital, I prefer it on analog, so... Good, yeah. good answer. Good answer. What sound or noise do you love? Sound or noise? Going to be musical? Yeah. Well, I have to say I'm a, a fiend for a synthesizer. Synthesizer? <laughs> yeah, I just love the whole mm. thing. Now, yeah. I'm going to preempt the next section by saying he always also finds a way of introducing craft work into every uh, discussion. <laughs> so, uh, probably... What uh, sound or noise do you dislike? Ooh, there's probably, uh, due to my misophonia, um, it's a choice between squeaking balloons. You know, there's mm -hmm. people who make balloon mm -hmm. art. Yeah. If I see that somewhere, <laughs> I run. Um, <laughs> um, or fresh carrots being chomped. Oh, yeah, you know, the chomping yeah, carrot guy. To, so, oh. no. <laughs> Everyone's experienced the chomping carrot, carrot guy, and then he brings out the celery. Yeah. Um, what is your proudest accomplishment? Ooh. Well, that's a, that's a, a curly one. Um, proudest accomplishment would be, well, I mean, if I refer to it, a technical thing. Um, launching the Helix platform in Munich in May 2015, um, the genesis of the, the, the project and the support of friends and the, the, the team back here in, in Australia and, and uh, even overseas um, guys who were, were supporting me that to stand there and have that launch, mm. even in, in, in its infancy, yeah, um, yeah. there that, that would be a, a yeah, I'd say that moment. in yeah. a technical sense, absolutely. You know, yeah. Apart from you know having two wonderful kids and a wonderful life partner, but you know that that they're also things that make me immensely proud. But um, yeah, mm. okay. Judging from the photo that we saw earlier on, uh, getting a wonderful life partner was a bit questionable. Yeah, right? yeah. But, <laughs> So, Somebody had to had to trick her into it. <laughs> so, if you could keep just one album for the rest of your life, which would it be? Ooh. Very difficult question. The Desert Island Disc. Mm, the, just uh, one. Just one. Yeah. One only. Just one. Yeah. Um, well, I'll go back to Spirit of Eden. Sorry. Spirit of Eden. That's Sorry. two times mentioned. Two times. I've got two mentions in. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that I mean, yeah, th th yeah. I love a lot it, of albums. It is an incredible album. I I agree with you. I mean, you you, yeah. you can listen to it a thousand times, and every time you hear something new, mm, mm. and and especially in terms of of system. I mean, we listened to a phono stage here uh, last week. The IO from from Jim White, the aesthetics IO, and hang on, I've not heard this album. This is the first time I've heard this album. We're both playing Spirit of Eden. It's so. always a wonderful experience as an yeah. audio file when you yeah. when you have that yeah. feeling. And then, and then yeah. there was the parlor phone that yeah. um, Ricardo Pranasovici from Absolute Sounds in UK had said, Mark, here, I want you to have this. Mm. And 
and because he knew I was crazy about it, and he had an original parlor yeah, phone, which right. are really hard to get. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's different than some of the later ones. So even within the yes, yes. the the genre of, or not the genre, the, the the recording of that album, the various there's been some iterations and mixes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, look, it's okay. So, I knew yeah. I wasn't going to get a one no, word answer no, out no, of you no, for sorry. that question. <laughs> if money were no object, how would you spend your time? Making turntables. Making turntables. Sorry, I, I, I know it sounds no, I, a, a fabricator or anything, but well, no, that's, that's, I wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't change. I wouldn't expect you to say. I wouldn't take else. up golf. Uh, <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't take up it's, uh, sailing. It's too hard. You know? I don't know if you know this, but it takes a lot of balls to play golf the way that I play it. <laughs> Um, finally, what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Ooh. Like profession, like mm -hmm. a, a life pursuit profession. Yeah. I, I'd love to work out how to give deaf people hearing. Wow. Okay. I know, I know to that, give them the gift that you enjoy so much. Yeah, uh, with yeah. Your that, music. You know, if, if, imagine yeah. if there was, a, and I know that there's been incredible research done, mm. and you know, the cochlear implants and, and, and those things. But to to take it up to that level of fidelity mm. that that you can give someone, I, I'd say that would be a lifelong pursuit worth doing. So they can really feel, uh, engage with it totally emotionally. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Experience yeah. what you're experiencing. Yeah, experience what yeah. what drug gets released when I listen to music to mm. have that same experience. And um, mm. yeah, I, I, I think, and I know some people who worked on the cochlear mm. project and their the incredible depth that they have to go to to find mm. these solutions. I, I think that mm. would keep me occupied. Yeah, that's a that's a really wonderful naturalistic answer. And uh, I think I, I can conclude this interview by saying that getting knowing you so well. You are one of the most uh, um, sensitive and al altruistic people that I've, I've, I've ever met. Um, congratulations for Thank your George. wonderful career so far, which I suspect still has a long way to go. Oh, I want to keep going. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and thank you on behalf of the global community of music lovers for the work that you put into your turntables. Uh, we love them. And, uh, and thanks for making the time to, to meet us and have a chat to us Thank here. Thank you, George. And Appreciate it. Thank you yeah. again. Yeah, okay. thank you. Take care.